Okay, for those of you watching, the kids have ripped open one of these things right here, and they're shaking it everywhere. Maybe a few of these, and they're saying it looks beautiful, right? Beautiful. I know it. And the whole room looks like a solar system. It just started, it just zooms in. Why is the camera zooming in all by itself? Camera, stop being a dum dum. It just did it again. It's zooming in. What the heck is wrong with the camera? Stop it. Oops, I did it again. You know what it is? Really? There's a little thing on the side here on the lens as well as not just on the top of the camera that if you flick the switch it zooms it in like this. See that? Mm -hmm. How inconvenient is that for when you're facing the camera towards you but, but really perfect for when you're just holding it like that and you want to say zoom in on the littlest knucklehead over there. Hi! Beautiful room! You can't even see it in the light. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and change the exposure so I can see it. It's starting to fade, so you probably can't see it. And this camera does not open up enough to be able to see it. But they have made their room look like a star system. Jason. Wait, look at this. Jason, yeah, Arthur, your... Jason, Arthur. Yeah. This was dumb. You've covered the entire room Jason. in glowing stuff. Boys! Yeah? This was dumb. And it was a little bit mischievous. And I really don't like the fact that you've done this. Jason, I'm, oh. I'm sure it's not going to make the room catch on fire. Dude, I'll take these. You clearly are not responsible enough no, to have glow sticks. Anymore. I don't want to cut anymore. Uh, okay, mine I'm... now! Okay, okay. You cannot have them. If you try and get them from me, okay? Each one of these will be individually inserted up your butt. And I have a glow butt. And then I will kick them. Then I have a glow. Because I will kick your butt. Seriously, butt. you didn't rip these open, did you? These aren't no. ripped open. No, they're not. Who's dumb, whose dumb idea was this? Was this your idea? Mine. I wanted to make this uh, thing glow. Of course that was your idea. But what What glow. gave you the idea to flick these things all over the room? To flick it everywhere? Because I had, because it like, it fell on this thing and went, oh, I'm like a star system. And I threw it everywhere. Because like, it glue. I, I used to, I remember the star, glowing star thingy in my friend's room and I wanted to have the same thing. So, yeah. Okay, I don't care. It was stupid. It was, it was really dumb. Cle I didn't mean to take kind of clever. I'm glad that you're using your imagination. You turn off the big light so I can see if this thing glows. I'm finally. glad you're using your imagination, Jason, but this was dumb. Okay. Oh, okay. Can you turn off the big light? Can you turn off the Go big light? Go to bed and no more glowy stuff everywhere. Yeah. You want these back? Yes. You want, I won't cut those. Don't give them to Jason. Yep. Not one. Don't give one to Jason. Oh, okay. There you go. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye. Holy crap. Just when you think your kids can't do something more screwy, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot, they're kids. Their whole childhood is doing something screwy, right? Seriously. A lot of the times we're like, okay with the screwy things we're doing. Like tonight at the costume party, the kids are all doing like somersaults and stuff. And I'm like, uh-oh, should they be doing somersaults in the house? And then Nick did a somersault. I'm like, oh, okay, that's all right. They did something screwy, but it's okay screwy. And then... They break open the glow stick and flick it all over the room. And that's also screwy. I get why they would do something like that, okay? It's it's fun. Who what kid doesn't want to unleash the liquid glowy stuff from inside of a glow stick and splatter it everywhere and make it look like outer space? It's why kids put glowy stars on their ceilings, because it's fun. However, this chemical inside the glow rods is meant to stay inside. Not on your walls, and your carpet, and your floor, and your desk, and your dresser, and on your toys, and on your globe, and inside of your bubbles, and everywhere. It was everywhere. You didn't see it, because the camera just didn't pick it up. They got it everywhere, on every surface. And it wasn't just a little bit. It was a lot. They got it everywhere. Holy jumpins! This is why we can't have nice things! Jeez! Alright, I'm back to whatever I was doing on my computer. Bye. Work harder, Cinderella. Scrub harder. That's right. Don't you want us in the future and the kids to see what it looks like with you scrubbing the corner? Say hi to your Can senior you citizen call self. Me Cinderella? Call your, say hi to your senior citizen self. 
That is not how we say hi in the past. Your senior citizen self is like, why is Margaret being so mean? No, my senior citizen self has already lived a luxurious single life for a while after murdering her husband. Oh my god! That is <laughs> some... never found the body. That is some dark stuff there. <laughs> She's like, ha ha ha, I remember that day you called me Cinderella. <laughs> So today's the day that we got our brand new couch, our big huge wraparound couch to replace our grody old couch and love seat. The stained, ripped, falling apart, nasty, horrible, terrible couch and love seat. You f there wasn't even the same couch fabric underneath the cushions. You couldn't even flip the cushions when someone spilled something on it. It was just a terrible, crappy piece of Leon's junk. So we went back to Leon's and we got something else that will be hopefully better. It's it's bonded leather, so it's going to be tougher. Hopefully it'll last longer, because I don't want to buy another couch and love seat for at least another 15 years. It's expensive business buying a couch. This one was regularly $5,000, and we got $2,000 off, so it's not cheap. All right, so the new couch is here, but it's taking up a lot more room than we thought it would. The thing's a freaking whale. It takes up so much space. And so now, Margaret and I, have been kind of bickering back and forth about where to put everything and how to make everything work. So we're gonna take those shelves and this table downstairs because this chair right here, we wanna be able to keep that chair in the corner so that there's more sitting room. But that means taking this piece here and putting it there and reattaching the couch. And that is a pain in the keister. But you know that saying, happy wife, happy life. And I wanna keep having a happy life, so. I gotta keep Margaret happy. Oh, she's not happy. I'm always complaining that I don't have any interest in the design of the house and you do all of that. And then when I do suggest and make, you know, ideas and suggest them to you, you're like, nope, my way. It's not about design. She wants to keep the chair. There's a difference That here. is design. And I said how it could fit. And you're like, nope. I believe, it's all about keeping a I chair. I believe you said something to the effect of, see this foot? It is down on the floor. You feel like, yeah, apparently not, because we're doing what you want. No, we're not. We're just Our moving two. the bookshelves, which we were going to do anyway. Right. The trunk's going here. And then you want to put the chair in here. She's making me look like the villain. You're making me look like the villain, line. Margaret. We're not keeping the chair because you said so. Yes, we're, we're keeping the chair because you said so. This is the look on the face of a man who was wrong. <laughs> it, does look, it looks better the way you wanted it. It looks a lot better now. From a from a design standpoint. Yes, from a design standpoint. Uh huh. Look looks at this. One hundred percent better. Yeah, the cup holder is over here because when it was over here, it made it look bigger this way, right? It looks better. It looks okay. better. You were right. And the installers didn't even have it in there properly. No, they didn't. They missed the hole a few times. Yeah. Geez, they just need more practice. This is good though. <laughs> I feel like I could install the couch now. Yeah, I, I got a new job. <laughs> yeah, we should totally be furniture installers. We, eh? could, we could rock that. Serious. This looks, this is so Look actually, how like right. relaxed you are in your castle. It's not a castle, it's a couch. <laughs> yes, I'm very relaxed. Yes. I'm hot and sweaty though. Okay, I'll do the rest. <laughs> All right guys, the kids are home. They've seen the sofa and the new furniture. What do you think? What do you think of the new sofa, dude? Awesome! Yeah, why do you like it? Because... What is, what is, what's cool about this sofa? Because the other one wasn't together, but this time the whole entire chest counts as together. So you like the fact that this is a big, huge sectional. Is that what it is? Yeah. Big. Because it's big. And what do you think? What do you like it for? I like it because... Because you said, tell them what you just said to me about this couch. You said this is... I like this couch because it can fit like 10 people on it at the same time. And I wouldn't say that much, but... It also has like cup holders. That you won't be using, kid. And it also has a place you can hide the controllers. That's right. I, I specifically wanted that so that... We wouldn't have a basket on top of that trunk. Now I gotta lay down some ground rules, okay? 
Actually, let's lay them down with Jason as well. Jason! Come here, bud! Stay here, Arthur. I also like because there's this lay down part. I know, the Shay's Lounge. push it back, All right, boys, come here. Go sit with your brother over there. Okay, ground rules. Number one ground rule. No standing on the furniture. I know. Okay. Number two ground rule. No running on the furniture. Okay, buddy? That includes the trunk. Don't stand on the trunk. Okay, I want to hear you guys say it. Don't, Don't stand on the trunk. Number, th the number four rule. No beverages on this sofa. Okay, so the no food and drink rule. Jason, you have food in the living room. Okay, I called you in here though. I don't, I don't blame you. These drink holders right here mm -hmm. are not for you because if you bring a drink in here, Jason, you might be perfectly fine with it, but guess who is not? Yeah. Those two that like to spill, okay? So, do you want to keep this furniture looking nice for a while? Yeah. Okay, well then the idea yeah, I bed before we go. is don't bring food in here and ruin it. Don't poke it with things and don't run on it and don't jump on it, okay? No, we're all staying up late for Halloween and you guys are missing school the day after Halloween. Mm -hmm. It's a parent-approved absence because I say so.